Hello YouTube, this is going to be another quick video about how to install radio into your car. The car we're working today is a Toyota Camry and the head unit that is already in the car is actually working as you can see. But the only problem with this head unit is that it doesn't have any aux cable. So if you want to hook your phone into it and listen some songs through the phone, there's no option. So the only op option is to either install a cable or install a different head unit, which is what I'm doing. So I have already purchased the head unit uh, of eBay and this is it. It does have DVD, TV and a lo lot of other stuff. Uh, I believe it also has some GPS as well, but I'm not really sure how accurate it is. But anyway, so this head unit is going to go where this one is. All right, let's go ahead and see how it goes. So this head unit is run by Android 5.1 and it does have TV, DVD, radio and other media sources like um, SD card readers and other things. It also comes with GPS. That is one reason why I wanted to buy this one because it does have Wi-Fi and it's, uh, the GPS is running on the thing is Google Maps so it should be as accurate as any other Google Maps that you should be uh, having on your phone or tablet so let's go ahead and install this into the car in some cars you can easily pop this uh, radio facade the front face off and take the old head unit out and even put the new one back in but in this case the way this car is designed you have to take this entire center console off in order to be, be, be able to access to those two, uh, four boards that hold this um, head unit in place. So, right, first you put the car into neutral and make sure the handbrake or foot brake is on. And you screw this gear knob out. You stuck in the power box so you wouldn't lose it. And these panels, as you can see, these are like popping panels. So. This will be the prime. So there's always cables that goes to the back side of the thing. So you always want to make squeeze these clips and take these plugs out. Like that. Okay, so we have taken out the center console. So now this air conditioning panel has to be come off, and then the radio. So there are two boards, one there and one right there. They're size 10, so they need to be taken off. So we can take this air conditioning panel. That's one. Okay, so now the bottom balls are free and we need to take these uh, top two balls as well. So, but these air vents are getting in the way, so we're gonna pull this off to reach to those balls. So, to remove these uh, air vents, you need these little like, prime tools. So these are like very cheap tools, like $20 selling, or maybe 10 I don't know. It's been a long time since I bought them. So I'm trying to pry this sweet one of these. Now there's two wires that connects the clock. So you get a disconnect though. Yep, so now the, the top panel is off. So we can reach to the bottom two bolts that holding the
the least. So they can't wiggle to get this off and there should be a lot of wiring goes to the back. You get a, this is your antenna. This radio unit is uh, bolted into this metal frame, so we need to take this off. So I'm going to use okay. So the old one is out. Okay, it's time to get the new one. Okay, so we're gonna get these clipped together yeah like that and I'm gonna bolt this back onto the car okay so now we have installed the head unit into the bracket so all we have to do now is to rewire all these um, wiring so all we so all that left now is to plug all these wires these ones through the adapter kit that comes with the radio because this radio is specifically made for this car so we don't have to go for shopping for any adapters or anything so it's very handy so let's go ahead and get this all installed okay so here we have connected everything all the wires that comes out of the back side of the head unit so everything is plugged in and the unit is working perfectly so I'm trying to get some song see if that works Let's see what other options we got. We got um, we got internet. We got navigation here. Mm. Now everything is connected in, and this is what I call a rotten bit of luck, because uh, this unit is just about to be installed, and I just realized that one of my CD is still inside this one, so I had to hook this back into the power line to get that out. So that is that is bad. Okay, I just plug everything back into the old one. Let's see that. Oh, so much for CD. Okay, now the radio is in place and it is bolted on, and we just uh, put all these plastic panels back into where they belong. So make sure you plug all this wiring. Install all these plastic clips back. All right, time to turn it on. a custom radio into a car so in your case there could be a different car and there's always uh, adapters for the plugs and wiring that you can buy and and that's all for this video and if you want to see more DIY stuff like this you can consider subscribing into my channel and if you like this video press that like button as well I'll see you in the next video thank you